Hey guys, this is Sunsfan with a spotlight video for items classified as accessories. Traveler's Cloak is a 3 gold basic accessory that provides plus 4 health to a hero. This is basic and very popular. Revtel's Signet Ring is a 4 gold uncommon accessory that gives plus 4 health to the hero. It will also give 3 less bounty to the opponent if it dies. This means it'll give 2 gold instead of 5. The benefits of this should be pretty obvious, but it can be quite useful on heroes who die a lot. <coughs> Ricks. <coughs> but it's also great with and against gold creation decks. Ristul Emblem is a 4 gold rare accessory which gives the equipped hero plus 4 health and minus 2 armor. It'll also lower the armor of the unit blocking this hero by 2. This is a very interesting item which has some definite drawbacks. It works quite well with Retaliate heroes or in conjunction with cards such as Heartstopper Aura or Conflagration. Stonehall Cloak is a 5 gold common accessory which provides plus 4 health to the equipped hero. After the combat phase, if the hero survives, this item will modify itself with an extra 2 health. Gotta love the Stonehall items. If you get them early, they can become insane value. Assassin's Veil is a 6 gold uncommon accessory, which gives plus 4 health and an active ability with a 2 round cooldown. When used, it will allow you to choose a combat target for the equipped hero. This is especially good for black decks, or any high attack hero. Phase Boots is a 6 gold uncommon accessory that gives the holder plus 4 health and an active ability with a 2 round cooldown. When used, it will allow you to swap that hero with another ally in that lane. This is an incredibly powerful tool for repositioning. Keep in mind, swapping places with the unit does not change the combat arrow directions. Furline Mantle is a 7 gold common accessory that provides plus 8 health to heroes. This is the next step up from Traveler's Cloak. Book of the Dead is a 10 gold common accessory that gives plus 4 health and an active with a 2 round cooldown. A charge will be added to this item after an allied melee creep dies in the lane. When you actually activate the ability, it'll summon a 2 attack and 2 health zombie for each charge you've accumulated. It will then remove all charges. Keep in mind that it's not for any creeps dying, but for the randomly positioned melee creeps. Clazadream Hourglass is a 10 gold uncommon accessory that gives plus 4 health to a hero. While this hero is alive in any lane and the opponent draws a card, that card will be locked for one round. This is an insanely powerful item. The negative effect works at the beginning of the round as well as any time your opponent simply draws a card in any other fashion. The only way to prevent this is killing the hero it's equipped to. Ring of Tarask is a 12 gold common accessory that gives plus 4 health and plus 6 regeneration to a hero. Regeneration can be quite powerful, but keep in mind that it only takes effect after the combat phase, so any direct damage before then will ignore it. However, as can be attested by Enchantress, Regeneration at times makes a hero feel almost invulnerable. Cloak of Endless Carnage is a 13 gold rare accessory that provides plus 8 health to a hero. Also, whenever an allied neighbor of that hero dies, it will draw you a card. As you can imagine, drawing cards is strong, and attaching that mechanic to a hero with a lot of health can prove to be quite fruitful. Hero's Cape is a 15 gold uncommon accessory that provides plus 16 health to a hero. We go from Traveler's Cloak to Fernline Mantle to this ridiculous amount of raw health. Horn of the Alpha is a 25 gold rare accessory which passively provides plus 4 health and sports an active ability with a 2 round cooldown. When used, it will summon a Thunder Hide pack into your lane. If you don't know already, that is a 14 attack and 14 health creep with 6 siege. This is probably the most popular item for any gold creation decks and is considered the ultimate finisher of any item in the game. To see the ratings of every card from professional players, be sure to visit Artifaction.gg. If you want to be featured on this channel, you can also submit memorable clips you see on stream to us at Artifaction.gg slash submit. Thanks for watching and subscribing to Artifact Cinema. Be sure to click that bell icon in order to get notified when we put up a new spotlight or guide.